March 2020. The lockdown was imposed and before we got the time to brace ourselves, it became our continuing reality. With the second wave, many concerns have risen besides the one we were already facing, along with the fear of the third wave. However, life has stopped. In order to sustain, we saw many companies close physical operations, conduct untimely layoffs, limit the expansion mode, curtail expenses as they moved to digital space. But now, as we sail through this great crisis, what are you exactly looking at if we talk about the job market? And is it a good idea to grab just any job for the financial security of it? What should you expect to be the norm for the companies? Today, we discuss employee welfare in terms of how to analyze job opportunities based on how and what kind of efforts the companies have taken. It might sound absurd to some when I say judging on company opportunities or a company or a job is important before saying yes to the offer. I have been sharing that it is important for us to do our bit of homework just the way companies do their bit of homework before hiring a resource. You must feel overwhelmed with all the news of sound employment opportunities, think that grabbing any opportunity of employment is the need of the moment. But trust me, when I say in the long run, it can backfire. Here is how. Believe it or not, not all companies, organizations or agencies are concerned about employee welfare. And for you, this means you are on your own. There have been instances where candidates have been denied the job despite serving the job offer or not proceeding with the onboarding of candidates selected in campus placement drives. In others, Companies have kept the employees under bond but have not cleared the salary in due time. In a situation where even the big names are struggling to keep up their revenue generation and support their employees, you need to be really careful in your association and commitment to a company. Okay, enough of discussing the problem. Let's see how you can protect yourself from any of the mishaps. Well, it starts with research and ends with questions. And throughout the process, you have to use your own judgment to make the right decision. To get a better idea about the company's approach to crisis and employee welfare, consider the following. First, culture. We have to realize that the present situation is not just impacting us physically, but also causing a lot of mental stress, anxiety, and unrest. Since we spend most of our day working, it is essential that the company you are joining has a healthy work culture. It's not just the working hours that matter. Check the company's adaptability comfort of working hours, employee activities, team interactions, reasonable leaves. How far is the organization trying to keep the spirit up? And most importantly, are they giving their best to ensure your job security? Second, company benefits. If you need to head out immediately for an emergency, how will your HR react to it? Are they taking any measures to work around curfew hours or lockdown duration so that you can get your work done for your home? Do they have any allotted break time? What medical benefits and interactive benefits do they provide? Make sure you have satisfactory answers to all these. Thirdly, transparency. This is the most important thing that you should check for. How transparent is the company with you? Are they taking time to address the situation to make corresponding changes? Are they taking your opinion into consideration? Is the company making any efforts towards communication or sharing its plans 
for the next phase lastly you need to check how transparent they are with you in regard to salary organization structure growth plans analyzing these factors beforehand will not just help you grab a job it will help you secure a sustainable career that you will grow with Thank you.